Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Today, I'm going to give you guys a simple tutorial on how to install free custom resource packs in 0.15.0. It may be easier than you think. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in 0.15.0 right now. If we go to our options menu and manage our texture packs, as you can see, we already have a texture pack selected. So let's put it back into our selection. And if you guys take a look right here, we can just go ahead and easily select it, right? Now let's see if it actually works. Now you don't need any mods or anything like that. And you can also do this on iOS. However, you might need a computer for this or something else for that if you guys aren't jailbroken. Let's go into a map or a world and see if it actually works. So as you can see, the sword has a different texture. So have we succeeded? Yes. Take a look at the ore. It has a different texture. Wow, this texture pack actually looks really, really awesome. I think it changes, you know, the textures of the items and stuff like that. Mainly the weapons, of course. So this is really awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can change your texture pack for free. For this tutorial, you'll need a file explorer. In my case, I have the ES file explorer. If you guys want to use any type of file explorer you want, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to follow along, get the ES file explorer and let's get right into it. So I'm going to go into the app. The first thing you will see is these files that you have never seen before. So what you want to do is basically we want to work with two different folders. The folder that the resource pack is in and also the MCPE files. So right here, we go into games and then com.mojang and you won't see this specific folder right here. So let's just go ahead and delete it. Now what you want to do is go into more or uh, you want to actually press new and folder. From here, you want to actually rename it to resource packs. You'll also do that for the one for iOS. For iOS, you'll actually need something called iExplorer, which is on the computer, which is much easier to use. So right here, you want to rename it to resource packs, just like that, resource underscore packs. And after you do that, you're basically done. Now you have to go back to the folder with the resource pack. So go into there. Let's use a different resource pack. So I have paper cut. Let's use that and see if that works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and bring it back to com.mojang and go into the resource pack folder and paste it. And let's see if this works. And also, you want to make sure that your texture pack has been extracted from the zip file before you actually put it in the resource pack folder. So now you want to go back home and enter Minecraft Pocket Edition. And hopefully this works because some of these packs don't actually work. So I will leave the resource pack links in the description down below if you guys want to test this out and play around with it. So I'm going to go into texture packs and yes, guys, it has worked. Paper cut is now in 0.15.0. So that is my that is actually my most favorite texture pack for MCPE. So I'm going to go into a world and show you guys the awesome new textures. So let's go into the creative inventory. You guys will see you guys will see the amazing ores in this game. This is actually super cool, guys. I can't I can't imagine how awesome this is like I can't really explain how how I feel right now because I'm mind blown this is just an amazing tutorial so if you guys want to if you guys want to stick around make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and make sure to like this video if this did help you if you guys don't understand how to do this still make sure to leave down some comments down below so if I can help you guys I will and reply to your comments so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.